All right, how's everybody doing? Today, I am working on a, this is a LG 47 LC7 DF flat screen TV. And what happened was, um, there was a lightning storm. And the guy's TV, he didn't have it on a surge protector. So, basically, the lightning came down through the, uh, the socket or whatever. And it went up through the cord, up through the board, and burnt four capacitors. Now, what I did was I actually took the capacitors out of a Xbox. It was it burnt four of them, but I only could find three. And turns out one of the ones that had burnt, or I thought had burnt, was still good. So I just reused that one. Uh, that one blew. This one right here is the one from the Xbox, which is is 10 volt, 2200 microfarads which is 2200 UF. It looks like a U, but it's not a U. Uh, this one blew, and this one. So I changed those, and here are all the old ones that came out. Might be able to see that right there. Uh, 10 volt, 2200. So I took those out. Those are the three that came out. Uh, that's just one I took from somewhere else, just in case I couldn't find a 10 volt. It's actually a 16. Good thing I didn't use that one. And the problem was the TV. Whenever you would cut it on, the light right here, which is red right now, would blink from green to yellow, and it never would come on, or it would come on, or it'd like cut back off. And as you can see, after changing those capacitors, it comes right on. I guess the test now would be, you know, just to, you know, hook maybe a movie or something up and just let it play out, just to see if everything is good. But uh, basically, uh, soldering is real easy. This is the power supply from the Xbox I took it out of. See the three little holes right there. That one, that one, and that one. Just use my nifty soldering arm right here. And I have the wrong kind of solder, but it's okay. And it was very really hard to melt this down. So my soldering arm sucks. And uh, I mean, I don't have experience. I really don't know what I'm doing when I'm soldering, so I'm pretty sure I'm doing something wrong. But anyway, I got everything in there, and it seems to be working good now, so. That's it. I hope this video helped anyone out. If you have any questions or anything, just uh, feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below. And I'm trying to see if I'm, if there's anything else I'm leaving out. Well, I guess that's it. Again, those are the capacitors that blew. And that's what happens in most TVs, whether it be an old tube TV. Well, not old, old, but maybe a TV like this. Actually, this TV right here had the same thing wrong with it. But in this TV, it was just one capacitor. And it, in this one, happened to be four LCD. Like I say, is uh, that one, that one, this one, and this one. The way you can tell is, I'll show you from one of these good ones over here. You can look at the top of it, and the top looks flat. And it doesn't have any whatever the stuff is on the inside. It's none of that on top of it. But as you can see on this one, it's bulged out on top. See that little curve at the top? And if I can find one, that one. See how it has the black stuff right there in the middle of it? I guess whatever on the inside is squirting out from the surge. See, that's bulged on top. And the good one is flat on top. So I hope this video helps you. Like I say again, uh, if you hit me up, leave me a message, or leave a comment, I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And have a nice day.